The process of installing plugins into Final Cut Pro has always been way more complicated than it needs to be. And so it was with that in mind that I set out to create an app that solves all of the problems that come into play when installing a Final Cut Pro plugin. And the best part is, thanks to today's sponsor, Envato, I was able to make it completely free for all of you. So the old way of installing plugins into Final Cut Pro was that you would open up Finder, go to Movies, go to Motion Templates, locate Effects Generators, Titles, and Transitions, open up your downloaded folder, go to Effects, and then drag that in. So we'll take it over to Effects, and then we'll go to Titles over into our Titles. Now doing this for one plugin isn't that bad. However, there are a lot of technical issues that can get in the way of your plugins showing up in Final Cut Pro. For example, you might have installed your plugin into the wrong folder. So if I dragged Effects into Titles, those wouldn't show up at all. Or a more technical example, if you take a look here at Effects and I press Command-I to get info, you'll notice that effects has this hidden extension of dot localized added to it. And if that dot localized doesn't exist on your effects folder, a lot of the time your templates will never show up inside of Final Cut Pro. So there's a lot of these subtle little things that can go wrong and cause your plugins to never even be installed. And my free app solves all of that. To use the app, you'll just want to open it and it will present you with a screen that looks like this. It's ridiculously easy to install a plugin. All I would need to do is drag FCB's Pro Zooms over here and now we can see all of the various templates that are going to be installed. All we need to do is just click on install 22 templates and just like that, we have installed 11 effects and 11 titles. From there, we can go ahead and close the installer. And that's it, that is all you need to do to install a plugin. But there are way more features packed into this app that I wanna show you to make the experience even better. But before I show you those, you might be asking yourself, why is this free? The big reason why this is free is because Envato is sponsoring this video. Don't skip, I know, I know you're going down, you're gonna skip this part, don't skip this part. Envato makes this app 9,000 times more valuable. Why over 9,000 you say? Well, if we go to our video templates, select Final Cut Pro here in Envato, you will notice over here on the left side that we have over 9,111 templates for Final Cut Pro that we can easily download and have access to for life. So even if your subscription ends, you still have the templates that you've downloaded. Let's say for example, I wanted these really cool looking kinetic title animations. All I would need to do is press download, select my project, and license and download. And here is the download kinetic text. Now you might think, oh, I need to unzip this. No, you don't, because my app can do it for you. You just need to right click, select open with, and you'll see FCB's plugin installer. We'll do that and boom, all of the templates that you want to install are going to show up here inside of the installer for you. All we need to do from there is press install 36 templates and we have immediately installed those templates for use for Ever. So this feature alone makes Envato absolutely worth the money, but that doesn't even include the millions of video assets, photos, fonts. I literally use Envato in every single project I create, so it's really a versatile tool that every single creator needs in their toolbox. If you want to support the channel, consider using the links down below. They help tremendously. And with that being said, let's get into the other features that my app has for you. So one of the features like I showed in that sponsored segment is we can just right click on any template and select open with FCB's plugin installer and they will automatically import for us. Another great feature is you'll notice over here on the right side of some of these titles they have this orange dot. That orange dot indicates that this particular title is already located inside of your plugins folder. Sometimes you do want to overwrite those templates because you're trying to install an update but other times you might not so you can go ahead and just click on a single template and that will deselect it. So that template will no longer be installed into that folder. Another great feature of this app is that it has been localized to 11 different languages. This was probably the most time intensive process. And of course I want to add more languages to this app, but these were the most common languages associated with Final Cut Pro editors. So I'm starting there and I do plan to bring more languages in the near future. And the last super important feature that you need to know about with this app is the ability to trash preferences in Final Cut Pro. Trashing preferences it clears all the preferences, it clears out a lot of the backlog, and there's kind of a hidden cache that it deletes, which can 
oftentimes resolve plugin issues like plugins not showing up, plugins not rendering properly. There's really a lot of stuff that it can fix. But there's a big issue when you trash preferences. If you do it the normal way of pushing command option and then opening up Final Cut, we'll ask if you want to delete custom settings. When you do that, it completely factory resets Final Cut Pro. And what's frustrating about this is there's oftentimes many settings you've changed to make your editing speed way faster. For example, maybe you've changed to a custom keyboard set. Maybe you've disabled background rendering so you don't get massive files while you're working in Final Cut Pro. Maybe you've created custom share destinations and you don't want to have to recreate those. And so my app fixes that. Rather than pushing Option and Command and opening up Final Cut Pro, instead, just go up to File with my app open and select Clean Final Cut Pro Preferences. It's going to bring up this small dialog window letting you know what's going to happen, but additionally, there's this little checkbox called Restore User Preferences After Clean. What my app does is it takes note of the settings you've set up, then completely deletes all preferences in Final Cut Pro, and then it resets the settings back to how you had them previously. This gives you all of the benefits. Firstly, it cleans out Final Cut Pro so your plugins are working again. Secondly, all of your settings are back as they were so it's like nothing ever happened. If this tool seems helpful to you, please consider subscribing. I'm really trying to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year and obviously that is only possible with your help. Don't forget to check out Envato and get over 9,000 different Final Cut Pro templates that you can easily install with my installer app. That being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.